How's it going everyone? I know it's been a long time, but I'm finally back with another video. Um, in this video, I just want to go over a handful of apps made for Windows that um, I really think will boost your productivity, seeing as a lot of people are working from home now. So without wasting too much of your time, I'll just jump right into it. The first one on the list is a program called Power Toys, and this feature right here is actually part of it. So what it is, is this, this portion of it is just a, a search bar that you can bring up with an easy keyboard shortcut, but typing into it will search a computer for programs. So in this case, this is the one that we open. This one needs to run as an administrator, so we'll click that button to do that. Give it permissions, and here it is. So it's just a set of tools that increases the, the value, I guess, <laughs> of Windows in general. Now, just to go over a couple of the tools that I think are the, the best ones, is the first one is Color Picker. And all this is, is it does exactly what it says. It, it gives you the hex value of any color on your screen. And it, it, it can be popped up by this keyboard shortcut right here. So I'll go ahead and press that. And these are my kids on the screen. Let's say I wanted to grab the color of my daughter's shirt. So I'll come over here and click that. And now I have the hex value, RGB, and the HSL value of that color pink of her shirt. Let's choose a different color. Let's say the green on his shirt, my son's shirt. So there you go, the hex, RGB, HSL. The next one that I use the most is called Fancy Zones. And all this is, is let's say that you're one of those people that has a lot of windows open at the same time, which you know, I usually do. The only time I don't do that is when I'm making a YouTube video. Um, anyways, what this does is it lets you create um, templates for where windows will fall on your desktop. And you can bring it up via another keyboard shortcut, which is this one right here. So we'll go ahead and press that and we'll bring it up and it lets you create as many layouts as you want and you just if you want to choose a different layout you just click the button and it loads that that layout right now to show you how that works i'll just use notepad as an example so you hold shift and then you can drag it into any of the zones that you've created so let's just say you want to put that one there and i'll put this one here or if you press shift control you can drag them across different zones and have them fill up that, that part of the screen. So this one, let's say we want to just take up the entire top row. I guess we can't do that because that one doesn't work, but these three boxes right there, we'll do that. Or hold shift again and move it there. But you, you can see, if you are like me, you do tend to have a lot of windows open, a lot of different things. Insanely valuable tool to have, especially if your OCD is like myself as well. Um, it has a couple more, and I don't honestly use these ones as much, but it gives you a really easy renaming program. And another one is it lets you assign different keyboard shortcuts. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is the one that I showed you as soon as I started this. Um, it lets you search things on the computer really quick. But this is Power Toys, it's insanely useful, and I like it a lot. The next one is something to control the brightness of your monitor. Let's say you use a desktop tower connected to an external monitor. If you're used to using a laptop, they have the brightness controls right on the computer. So it makes it super easy to turn your brightness up and down based on you know, the lighting conditions that you're currently in, right? If you're using a dedicated desktop with external monitor, you don't have those nice hardware switches anymore, right? You have to actually reach over to the monitor and open the menu and do all that. It, it's just really annoying to do, right? So with Click Monitor DDC, it puts a nice little uh, control right here. So you have your brightness and your contrast. And if you wanted to do color as well, th there's your RGBs. You can control it independently. But for myself, my use case, I just like to keep the brightness and the contrast open all the time. And I know that you won't be able to see the brightness change on your end, but it makes it really easy to turn up your brightness all the way or turn it all the way down without ever having to go into the the hardware buttons of your monitor. Just another quick tool, but it makes things really nice. The next one I want to go over kind of goes hand in hand with uh, power toys and fancy zones. But let's say that you have just a couple floating windows. Uh, it makes it really easy. Well, it not makes it easy, but it lets you snap things together. And that's pretty much the whole extent of the program. But again, if you're OCD like me, and you have a bunch of stuff open, 
and let's say you're working on something here, but you have a couple supporting documents, and I'm just using no an example again. You have a couple supporting documents over here. You can just kind of float these around and then, you know, attach them like that, make everything look nice and just tidy. Again, if you're OCD like myself, it's gonna be something that's very useful. Another feature of the program is, let's say that you have something you have something on your screen that you want to you want it to stay on top of everything else on the screen. You can turn on a feature within the program that you click and hold the window, you shake it, and did you see that red that red pin that popped up? It keeps it pinned to the top of the screen. So now when I click this, I mean nothing ever oh, it changed to this now, but uh, nothing will ever go above those two. Whatever you pin always stays on top. And now I have this one too because I keep dragging it. I'll turn all these off. Oops. Yeah, that one's off. And there it is. That's all that does. It just keeps everything on top. It's beautiful. Now the next one I want to show you is something for Excel. If you spend a lot of time with it within Excel, this program will be a lifesaver for you. So the way Excel usually works is you have something open on your screen and if you open up another spreadsheet, it's a completely different window. With Office tab, it lets you have tabs in Excel. And then you can just kind of cycle through them like you would on a browser, with, through the browser tabs. It's, it's a, such a small thing, but again, if you do spend a lot of time in Excel with different spreadsheets, you'll see the value of this right away. So that's, that's called Office tab. And again, all the links for all of these will be in the description. Close all that out. The next one that I want to show you now is something called M Editor, and all this is is Notepad on steroids. The beautiful thing about M Editor is that it's super lightweight but yet insanely powerful. So, for instance, let's say that we're typing something up: the fox jumped over. Okay, perfect. I, I messed up, right? If you did this in Notepad, I would never notice the, the spelling error because it doesn't show you. The, it doesn't have a built-in spell check. You can right click this, and then it's gonna give you a bunch of words that it thinks you were, you meant to spell. Then when you look at the list, you just click the number corresponding to what you want, and it changes it. Now, another feature of this is if you have just an insanely large text file, this will open it very, very, very fast. Now, just to show you an example, I'm gonna open up Explorer, and I'm gonna go to a text file that I know is a little larger. This one is only 5.25 megabytes. But we're gonna right click this and open it with notepad and just look how long it takes to open. You're gonna get the spinning wheel. This will probably take another five seconds or so. Let's just see. Still going. Just notepad just does not work well for large files at all. It's it's buggy. Okay, there it is. There's the Excel file. It's a bunch of data from one of my customers. Our clients it takes forever to open it in Notepad, right? Now let's take the same file and open it in M Editor. Drop it in, and there you go. There's the whole file. Let's click and drag this. There's my computer being a piece of crap, but there it is. You see the difference? <laughs> and then even past that, it has support for CSVs. So we can come in here. What is this one? I think it might be tab. Yeah. This one is tab delimited, so you can open up CSVs in this and just edit things as you want. Let's say right here, we're gonna delete this column, boom, that's gone. If we're gonna delete the username, column, boom, it's gone. Real easy, awesome tool to have. Now the next one on the list is good old WinRAR. This program's been, been around for forever. You download it once, and he says it's gonna give you a free trial that lasts for X amount of days. I don't, I don't remember what it is anymore, but the free trial never ends. You can use it forever. And it handles any kind of um, compressed file type. So .7z, .zip, .rar, and it just, it's the best at what it does, which is unzipping files. So right click and choose to extract the files here, extract it to a folder. It's pretty self-explanatory, but it really is the best one because you can double click on it, and we're gonna, I guess we're gonna open up Grindr, and you can just kind of click in without ever unzipping this and see what files are inside of it. It's just, it really is the best at what it does. 
So simple one, but wind rudder. The next one I wanna go over is this program right here, Remote PC. Seeing as a lot of people right now are working from home, maybe you have a desktop at work or the office that you need to access from your home. With this program, um, you can set this up on the host computer, which would be the computer at your office, and you can re remotely connect to it and have full access to it from anywhere in the world. So right now, this desktop is a laptop that's sitting in my other room that um, it doesn't work too well anymore, but I like having access to it because if I need to do some random tasks that I don't want to run on my main computer, I'll run it on this one. So you do, you'll add it in and then you just connect to it. Wait a second and hopefully I don't have anything open on it. Let's see. No, it's all blank. But this is a completely different computer and I'm free to come in and you know do whatever I need to do. It's pretty amazing. And let's well let's do this. Add a new text file here. This is a test. Now the cool another cool feature of it is uh, drag and drop. So I have a text file that I created on this computer. Drag it over here to their desktop. And give it a second, initializing. And there it is, now it's on my desktop. So another pretty cool productivity tool, remote PC. Um, it makes accessing PCs that are somewhere else way, 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 way easier. Now the last one that I'm gonna share with you is not really a program, but it's just a file that I like to keep handy. I use that fancy zones that I showed you from uh, the, the part of Power, Power Toys. So my desktop is usually completely covered. I, I usually can't see any of this stuff. But I will always have a file explorer window open. Now, uh, the, way I, the way it was before, if I wanted to empty my recycle bin, I would have to minimize a window, right click the, the recycle bin and then click empty recycle bin. I, I didn't like that. It wasn't working out too well for me. So instead I found this little file online that if you double click it, it empties the recycle bin. So just pay attention to this icon right here. Actually, I'll make them bigger so you can see. There you go, right? The recycle bin has something in it, but click this file, it's gonna run it, boom. Empties the recycle bin. It's a super small thing, but if you don't like taking the extra steps to do things, it makes it really easy to do such a simple task and I love it. I'll leave a download link in the description so you know, you're free to use that as you please as well. That's the end of this video. Again, I just wanted to share with you a couple apps for Windows that I think will boost your productivity. And if you found this video helpful, let me know which one of these programs worked out best for you. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.